Audio and sound effects in this video were created using audio.com. Use the link in the description to get 10% off. Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boy Angelovic here. So, are you looking for an easy way to convert your digital photos to photos that look like they were shot on film? Stay tuned. Alright guys, so the usual housekeeping, this product was sent to me free of charge for this review. However, as always, they have no influence on this video. They're not reviewing it before it's being published and all the opinions you're going to hear are my own. So, let's get going. Today, we're going to talk about Dehancer Online. This is an um, online, very easy to use program uh, where you drag and drop your digital photos and you convert them to digital. So, sounds easy. Let's take a look at the interface and see what we can do with that. Okay, so here we are in the interface of Dehancer Online. This is what it looks like in your browser. It's a pretty simple layout. So you drop the photo in here. So I'm gonna take a photo that I took in 2010. This is actually done in 2010, this one right here. So it's gonna load it right now, it's uploading it to um, I'm guessing their server and it's going to get it all ready to be edited. So this photo I took like I said in 2010 with my Nikon D60 which I can't remember now I think it was a 10 megapixel camera. Back then obviously it was great and um, you know it was the well not the latest and greatest but it was a great camera at the time. Uh, so now let's see if we can make this look more film like so it, when you upload the photo you're going to be greeted with various uh, film preset options so if I zoom out here you can see there's quite a lot there so you've got some featured ones up here you've got um, all kinds of color films and then you've got black and white here so I want to try I love the um, Kodak air color one so I'm going to select that one so right now this is what it looks like if we go to the original this was the original your typical digital image it is a ccd sensor so you got that going on and it, this has been edited obviously uh, like i said over a decade ago don't even remember what exactly i did but this is the jpeg the edited jpeg so now let's start messing around with it so let's say we uh, stick with this preset so if you want to go back to the presets you just hit that preset button and I'm um, just going to select that if you so let's let's go through these uh, things up here so if you want to lighten it up you click that one and then it's just going to go through various options you have within that preset if you want to lighten it up or darken it so you can see here uh, again I'll give you a kind of a bird's eye view of the options that you have here so let's say we're kind of liking this one here so there we go it's much lighter now the next option is color so it's the same idea if you want to add more or less color um let's see if you want to go from cooler all the way to a much warmer tone i am gonna go maybe somewhere up here um, let's drive this one all right it's not bad now the next one is effects so you've got your grain settings, bloom, and halation. So I don't want too much halation and I don't want too much bloom. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, grain is fine, so we leave that now. Then next one up here you have, so here's obviously a crop one, which is um, says soon, so I'm guessing it's gonna be there at some point. This is the toggle to go back to the original. This will just put it in uh, full screen mode. And then here you have more options now my understanding is basically these presets here will just kind of tweak all this here so if you want to ignore or sorry these two here and just kind of go straight into it and just mess with it go ahead so if we want to do a lighter it's basically just the exposure if we want to knock it down um let's go yeah obviously that's too dark but kind of somewhere up here all right let's say that's fine and then if you want to take away some of the contrast yeah let's i don't know somewhere around there and let's say we want to boost the color maybe something like that okay and let's see do i want to mess with the temperature no i do like a bit warmer here okay so let's say this is it 
and uh, let's go back to the original so you can definitely see we brightened up the shadows it's got obviously the film grain definitely a different image for sure now if you want to export it you just hit the export button if you want to start a new one you would hit the upload button so let's go export you've got these options here so i'm just going to select this one here it's going to render it and when it's done it'll give you an option to save it to your hard drive and that's it now let's take a look at different images converted using this process So as you can see, this is a pretty sweet application, easy to use, literally drag and drop, select your preset, boom, off you go. All in all, I think it's a great application if you want to convert your digital photos. Now, a big statement, I guess. No, this will not make your photos look like they were shot on film 100%. Nothing will do that. If you want that experience, shoot on film. So let's get that out of the way. However, this comes pretty close to it. So if you have, like in my case, you have a pretty big library of photos you took 10, 15 years ago. You know what? This is a great way to give those photos a second life. Especially, we all know cameras, uh, CCD chip cameras. They, they, you know, I still believe there is something to it that they are more film-like in the way they look, in the way they render the image. Again, not 100% by any means, but there's something to it. Well, this is a great way to take those photos with this application and boom, make it something that's even more closer to film. So that's that. All in all, I think it's a great start and this is a start. They're gonna improve the application. Um, there's more features coming. We definitely need basic tools, your crop, your rotate, those types of things, and they're coming. So that's a good thing. Um, and you know, there's going to be more and more of that coming our way and that's a good thing. So all in all, I think it's a great application. Check it out. Um, I believe there's a free trial. Go on their website. Um, if you use my links in the description, you'll get 10% off. So check those out as well. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends all that good stuff and stay tuned for more. Thanks. Color grading and film emulation in this video was done using Dehancer Pro. Use promo code FILMMAKING today and get 10% off any of their software. See link in the description.